It's that time again. Yeah. De la hora. You know, power hour. Uh. Pon, ponle atención, classes in session Tune in for an hour, maybe more, that's a blessing Learn from the captains and the leadership Bleed from religion, cause them churches never teach them shit Everything you learn for your benefit Line upon line is a requisite Never take a deficit, yeah That mean you take a loss if you stray from the way You get the understanding if you study every day Apply what you learn, and bless when you pray It's one interpretation, man, it's same what it's saying Ya venía el tiempo, entra para el templo Aprende del maestro con talento, la Biblia es el centro, usando a Israel como instrumento, no te pierdas en doctrina como viento, estudia y ora y aplica, tiempo para Dios ven, hace una cita, escritura dinamita, morenos y hispanos y salita, oye como explica Israel unido en Cristo para vida nunca se divida, tune in it's the power hour, learn your family history, don't be a coward yeah, tune in it's the power hour, I said learn your family history, don't be a coward yeah, it's me, yeah, it's the power I need, the only I want, to live through your history, you know what it means to me, power I want, the only I want, you know what it means to me, the only I want, power I want. When you look in the mirror, what do you feel? Fearlessness, austerity, masculinity, godliness. But what does your beard say about you? Get definitive results with the bold, natural scents from the Manly Badge of Dignity Beard Oil and ignite the king in you because it's important to look how you feel. Hour, hour here in Arizona. Officer Iskar here. We got with us this morning. Officer Zara. Officer Nehemiah. Officer Eli. Oh, praises. We got a good uh, good radio today for you. Uh, we we put it the, the 50 years of crap because we got the first 50 years of hip hop, right? Um, not to say that guess what? Because we got, we got some righteous music, right? And it, it, I don't think... The, the level of the music industry and the things that have done, um, we would not have the same sound. Cause give me give me that one Jeremiah that I was thinking about. Because you gotta understand that we as Israelites, right? The people of Jacob, mm -hmm. we uh the Bible says that go ahead and read it. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 51 and verse 19. Read out. The portion of Jacob is not like them, for he is the former of all things, and Israel is the rod of his inheritance. The Lord of hosts is his name. So that point, for he is the former of all things. Many beginning, we, everything, beginning of everything, we are the origin people that started something. That's when you see the inventors and stuff, Word. and we talk about... Uh, uh, the, the black man in slavery wow. inventing stuff and what Esau taking credit for it and right. all these things. Now, my people use it for wickedness and stuff. Hey, bro, you know, it was crazy. So, you know, you had this the recently with the the chair, right? In Montgomery, Alabama, yes, right? Yes, yeah, yeah. Yes. And so, um, you got the folding chair, right? You know, we, you know, we hyping up the chair, right? And so, <laughs> right. our people hyping up the chair, oh. you know, you know, yeah, real bro. hard, right? Yeah, and so, come, come to find out, a black man invented the folding yeah. chair, right? <laughs> it's, it's, sauce, it's, it's so, tell me why, you know, white people, they come in, like, ain't no black man invented no folding chair. Like, they going against it so yeah, it's, it's kind of funny that you said that man, and, and we I'm, admitted that. I'm glad you brought it up because now that we use it for evil right banging people in the head with it <laughs> sit down man sit down that's man. a chair to sit down rest on the sabbath man you know rest man? on the sabbath <laughs> <laughs> so oh, so what i'm going to is that the, the 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 music that's been put out because we got cool like the original mu music it was us to hanging out right you got cool hurt right, right? You, uh you got uh what's it um you got all the first original hip hops. Um, then from New York, you know, of course, shout out to New York. 
you know, the Bronx, Queens. Africa, Bambada. Yep. Mm -hmm. all, all, all the originals, they brought that music, and it was good music. The sounds, the words, everything was good. But what happened? Esau, yep. the so-called white man, mm -hmm. saw that. Well, we have something. Like, how can we corrupt this? How can we have that? Remember, in Malachi 1 and 4, I'm, I'm reading that out. Y'all got to understand, we're the former of all things, meaning we're the creators of, of everything. But they are, the Bible said that, that they are the border of wickedness. And this is the proof right here. Go ahead. The book of Malachi, chapter 1 and verse 4. Whereas Edom saith, we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus saith the Lord of hosts. They shall build, but I will throw down. And they shall call them the border of wickedness. So that border of wickedness, they're the beginning of something and the end of something, right? Mm -hmm. That's what the border means. So guess what? These Esau has what? Corrupted the music? Because they are the ones that feed the money. They're mm -hmm. the ones that hold in the contract in front of your face. Like, hey, you know what? Do some more gangster rap. Hey, that was even like at the time of the Greeks, man. Remember when uh, the Greeks came in power and said evils was multiplied up in the earth, right? Yeah. Evil. So same thing, right? It, same it, thing. It, like Bishop always says, we live in this life again. Mm -hmm. Meaning, guess what? Nothing new under the sun, as the Bible says. We're going to have to do these things again. They're going to uh, search out the iniquity and do a diligent search and bring it back to our face so we can accept it, mm -hmm. right? And then just push the Bible to the side. I don't know worry about the Bible. Worry about what we got right here for you. Mm -hmm. Show me the video. Let's, see, let's go into a video of Ice Cube where he's talking about something because it's very important. You're going to understand what they're be, being fed to us uh, in these uh, last days. Go ahead. Hold on one second. Yeah, he's not ready. And so, Ice Cube knows the game. He's been in the game for a long, long time. time. Right. Yeah. It's kind of funny too, cause speaking like with NWA, right? Yep. NWA when they tried to do those songs, uh, and when they came out, you know, it was a lot of pushback, like with Eden Mice and they're pushing that back. But eventually, they was like, hmm, maybe we could use this to uh, end up having them corrupt themselves, them own selves. So the, guess what? Yeah. It was pushed. You don't think Esau saw the album or the music that they had? You know what? That's a good song. That's a good song. This one, no, nah, that's kind of uniting, y'all. That's kind of like going against the authorities here of the United States because one that they have, the song that they could not uh, sing was F the Police, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. That song, where it was going, they weren't saying like, F authority, they were saying F the what the 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 police were doing to our people. You gotta go back what's going on. We have injustice for many years of our people. Go ahead, go ahead. No, I was gonna say one thing too, right? You know, F the police, right? We we know that that slogan right there, that whole name right there, it's been detrimental to us as a people for generations, mm -hmm. right? We know that we need the police, right? We need the police because we have wicked Negroes in our communities today, right? We have drug houses, uh, 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 prostitution, things right. like that. We need the police so they can police the area. So we're not saying that if the police, but we need the police. But that that whole name, it's been detrimental. It's been embedded into us, our generation through generation, to where we're just saying if the police for no, no reason, right? Because we have... Here, here, certain people here and there to where they get abused. Of course, you know, sometimes they go they go overboard, but why did it happen, right? It's of the most high because those people were doing wicked things. But go ahead. That's the point. That's what I was, that's what I was going to bring up before uh, uh, you went. Uh, they, we say that uh, not in the sense of like the, the Rodney King stuff where, you know, it's just unarmed, mm -hmm. you know, police, be, yeah. but Sometimes we in the midst of wickedness, right? Yeah, right? If we keep these commandments, we wouldn't be even at those situations yep. most of the time. So yep. that's that's what we're talking about. We'd be policing ourselves, right, just like the right. other nations do. And if we were to say F the police, I mean, we can't police ourselves. It would be pure chaos. chaos. Yeah. Give, me, give me Romans 13 and 1. Because we got to understand that, guess what? Yes, at one time, they, they do unite to be against us. You know, and a lot of times they, we had one police officer. You remember that guy? He shot. He shot one unarmed man. He yes. says, "Why'd you do it? I don't know, because it's in their spirit to hate right. us." Right? We're gonna read it later on. Go ahead. The Book of Romans, chapter thirteen and verse one. Let every soul be subject unto the higher powers, for there is no power but of God. The powers that are that be are ordained of God. So God has put the policemen 
in that uh, under that authority. He has put the men over us. What to these, these and a lot of times that's what these also at the same time. It's the same. It's one. It's double sided coin. You got you got the the authority over us, but then you also have the curses over us. You got you, you got the uh, uh, the uh, another nation over you, and that cur- that's a curse in itself because we are the people that should be over everything, right? Um, so you got read that video already? Hey, can I? Can we reverse three? From oh, what ahead, what we were saying, reverse three, just real quick. Verse three: For rulers are not a terror to good works. So it says, for rulers are not a terror. So the powers that be, they're not. They're not a terror to brothers that do good works. What's the good works? Let's keep it the commandments. Yep. Mm-hmm. Read. But to the evil, mm-hmm. wilt thou then not be afraid of the power? Uh-huh. Do that which is good. And thou shalt have praise of the same. Do that which is good. The good things, when you read the scriptures, Romans 7 to 12, the good things are the commandments of God. So we wouldn't be in those predicaments like the Bible says. Yep. Mm-hmm. I'll praise right. Wasn't that public enemy fight the power? Right. Yeah, fight the power. Yeah. Go, go ahead. Labels on the prisons. Literally the same people. Literally Rewind the same a little bit. Did we skip a little bit? The labels on private prison you gotta refresh it, it, it seems really kind of suspicious that same people who own the labels on the prisons literally pause the same pause people. y'all hear that mm-hmm. the same people that own the labels own the prison i think about that go ahead mm-hmm. literally the same people who own the labels on private prisons it, it seems really kind of suspicious that the records that come out are really geared to push people towards that prison industry family you must understand the inner workings and the interconnection between the systems of the world they weaponize our music they weaponize the legal system and they weaponize any and everything they can get their hands on which is why it behooves us to come together be a strong unified economic political social force same people who own the labels on the prisons. Literally the same people? Literally the same people who own the labels on private prisons. Now, it, I, it I, I love that, really... that video, but it showed, it said, it said that that music or rap is the new crack of the 80s. Mm. It's the new crack. You got to understand that the levels of what crack did to our people, mm-hmm. the level that it broke up the people, First of all, broke up the, the families, divided them, put them through welfare, single parent homes, mm-hmm. prisons, years. You, you understand? I, I remind you that it was a higher offense to have crack cocaine than it was to have cocaine. Meaning, it's it's kind of t- telling you that you, get, you you get more you got more a sentence for uh, having a. a, a I'm. I'm. Well, give me give me an example. Like, you got more, more more example of having a a pound of flour than you have. Uh, no, a, a pound of a cake than you have a pound of flour. Meaning because the stuff that was made from there of the cocaine is more addicted and more powerful. And guess who's selling that that uh, inexpensive crack? Hi, our, our people. people. Exactly. Our people, and it's sent to our people, because guess what? A rich man's drug is the cocaine. Right. It's expensive. It exactly. goes you broke. But, you know, a fire fix. But it's the same drug, just cooked a different way. Yeah. And it, it, like you said, it's, it's, it's in, our, in our community, right, the cheaper way is this way. So you get the higher offense for that because Esau knew, right, yep. by his craftiness, hey, Jake, or, or our people, the blacks and Hispanics, they're going to sell this on the corner. The, the rich man's drug, which is Esau, he he gonna do coke or whatever. So yeah. guess what? We gonna make this a higher offense because we know who we gonna lock up with yep. this, right? right? Yep, that's that's very heavy. So this is the, the the destruction that it does and stuff. And why when he says why important is the 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 what he's saying? Give me a Proverbs eighteen and twenty one. Mm-hmm. Y'all gotta understand what's going on in the music industry because guess what? Yeah, we got our headphones, we got our music, got our Spotify. YouTube, or whatever, and you hear your music, and you bump into the music. Yeah, this is this is nice. This is t- oh, who this? Oh, yeah, right. I like this. You know, me bobbing and weaving. Right, that beat gets you. And then mm-hmm. yes, yeah, the eighty eights. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> he said the eighty eights. 
So it gets you, you know what I mean? But you got to understand that they're pumped pumping something in you mm-hmm. because this is what we said when we were young i remember we said well i, well, I don't really like the words i kind of like to be just mm-hmm. yeah just but the it's feeding into your head it's the uh kind of going back to the uh that clone tyrone yes yeah. mm-hmm. when it was in the club yeah it yeah. was in the club hey listen to this right yeah well praises um read that proverbs chapter 18 and verse 21 read death out. and life are in the power of the tongue and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. It's what you p- spit out from the uh, your mouth, because you can lift somebody up or you can tear them down. Mm-hmm. And we understand. You gotta understand that this music, this industry, is tearing down the youth. We are the only ones that are destroying ourselves in videos, music industry, uh, degrading our women. And guess what? Looking for what? The vain things in life. Right? Because you see them. Right? And we and those who, who know, you know that, that a lot of the rappers, they'll go out and rent a Lamborghini. Mm-hmm. So they behind in their videos. Right? Ain't nobody renting a, a, you know, a, tw- a 2012 uh, Focus, Ford Focus. They're reading the, Lam- the Lambos, the Bentleys, you know. All those nice little cars, they are putting them in their videos. Why? Because it's just a it glamorous. It's the very uh, small percentage of people with money can get those cars. And you know what? Uh, what happen with some of those uh, some of those rappers and things like that? They'll get the first deal or whatever, and they'll get a loan. You know what I mean? To do a couple albums or whatever. And then what they'll do is they'll be poor after that, right? Because it's showing our. Because think about it. You you get them. They buy like ten chains. When you look at Esau, and they got wealth. Do they, do they got $100,000 chains on and all these? They got t- Skechers on. You know, you know what I'm saying? New balances. Yeah, new balance. Right, man. Our, <laughs> our people, like you were saying, the music, it corrupts us not only with the with the with how we deal with women, it corrupts us with our finances because it makes us go out and buy things we don't even really yeah. even need. It, it reminds you know I me mean? hey, of Dave Chappelle on Saturday Night Live. He said, he said, uh, yeah, he goes, Jay-Z said, uh, yeah. Uh, billionaires don't wear chains. Millionaires do. And like, oh dang, that's a cut. <laughs> damn, <laughs> because he chain in. <laughs> yeah, he took his chain in. He was joking up, but it's true. People know the value, the wealth, not the richness, the wealth. Because uh, when they were young, you see, the, a lot of the young rappers or the people that started young and kept in the industry and understood it was a business. They were having the chains. They got the video, the chains. Per se, uh, uh, how say? Sh- it, it goes with Flaunting the image. It. It's the persona. 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 Yep. Yep. persona. A persona of showing that they have money, but they don't have money. Right. And then when they do have money, they're over with a plain Jane Polo, right? Got them. Uh, Faded glory. 700, square, <laughs> 700 credit score shoes. Right. The new balances, the mm. monarchs. <laughs> you know what I mean? 700, cre- 700 credit <laughs> score shoes. Good credit shoes. The credit shoes. Because shoe. they know that I ain't going to show up. People, people look me up. They say the net worth. They know I got money, man. All right. They know where I live. They know see my house. They know where I have my investments. Mm-hmm. I got wealth now. But All a right. lot of times, where did they start? They started with what pushing that drug in the community. Right? right. Hey, can you pull up that image? Um, there's like a quote, whatever they're saying. Bishop Yawasop had uh, posted this uh, one day oh, in yeah, his I'll class. Praise. I'm glad you. One day in his class, he says, "So it says, watch your thoughts they, before they become your words. Watch your words before they become your actions. Watch your actions before they become habits. Watch your habits before they become character. Watch your character before it comes your destiny. Right. So, if you go to uh, go to Matthew chapter 15 real quick for me, right. So it says, watch your thoughts before they come your words, right." So we already understand that what well, evil communication corrupts good manners, right? So this communication it, it becomes, you know how we listen to music, right? We have a nice beat or whatever, mm-hmm. and you're like it's a real good song, you like it a lot, and then later on, like a few hours later, you you quoting the song, right? You singing the song out loud, right? Because why? It's in your thoughts. It becomes a part of you because you like that song a lot, right? Mm-hmm. So it says, watch your thoughts before they come your words, right? And so you're gonna end up speaking those words, right? Because you're singing it out loud, and then what? After eventually. You'll want to what portray. You want to act on those words that you're listening to, right? And so, so forth. But read that for me. Matthew chapter 15, verse 18. The book of Matthew chapter 15 and verse 18. But those things which proceed out of the mouth come forth from the heart, 
So those things which come forth out of the mouth come forth from the heart, which is your what? Your thoughts, right? Go ahead. And they defile the man. So these things that comes out of their, our, our mind, right? Because why? sometimes a lot of us don't even have these commandments in us. So guess what? These things that defile us, read. For out of the heart proceed evil thoughts, uh -huh. murders, adulteries, fornications, thefts, false witness, blasphemies so as you can see these are the things that that's, uh, that's defiling us as a people today you see that we are definitely in this full-fledged right because mm -hmm. why music and other things that's what affecting our community right uh, the men not being there the commandments not being in our community right go ahead these are the things which defile a man right go ahead so the when you get these um how it's the communication I was speaking the community evil communication mm -hmm. you got uh understand that uh, give me matthew twelve thirty six you got understand that the communication the words that you do because we spoke that you know the power of the tongue is whatever you use right. and how you use it is going to be very important go ahead the book of Matthew chapter twelve and verse thirty six but I say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak. They shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. So when you talking about shooting up the ops, mm -hmm. meaning your neighbor, because you got a beef because of the color or because he rapping, he ripping a certain thing or you got envy towards him or whatever reason, but that's not me anymore. What are you do? You, what are you doing? You are stirring up that anger, Right. I just got a quick thought about what you just said, right? So a lot of times in our music, we always say uh, we'll kill a nigga, right? Yeah. So we always refer to. I, I, the... I don't say that. Okay. So... <laughs> <laughs> he said. He said we. Well, well, I'm talking about in the music, right? In the music, right? Sure. In the music, they always say uh, we'll kill a nigga, right? And so they, the nigga, they, and the nigga, don't say that word. And, and the nigga, they refer to uh, uh, our people, right? <laughs> You're not allowed to. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, but uh, but they referring to our people, right? When they uh say kill a nigga, kill a nigga, right? But you never really hear songs from our people that say like let's kill a white man or anything, right? Yeah. Because let's say let's say if that was out there, right? Guess what? We'll probably end up uh doing it. Our people will end up probably trying to kill a white man, right? Yeah, and Persuaded they and they don't they don't allow that because they what? That's Jesus. You can't kill Jesus. Mm -hmm. Jesus. <laughs> right. And the label, the ones that are in charge of the labels would not allow that to be All right. put out. Right. It's just the video is watching, like you said, the pre the uh, the same people that own the prisons own the, the music industry. <laughs> So <laughs> and yeah, we, we got <laughs> they, they 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 control it, right? And they also encourage like, hey, you know what? Uh, you gotta push more of this from right here. This this right here, you know, this song right here about killing everybody. Yeah, I like it. About hey, calling officer, him. Go that, ahead. That's like that interview that that one uh, Amalekite did about having to feed his family. Is Charlemagne the God asked him, why are you allowing this type of music right. to go out? And he said, yes, because yes. I got to feed my family. I got mouths to feed. Yep. So he, he made it very clear that he does not care that they're putting out that kind of, that we're putting out that kind of music as a people, but he just cares about feeding his family. Yep. He said it very crafty, too. Oh, yeah. Very crafty. Yep. Um, let's get that, uh, the, video, the other video about... Uh, the one you sent, I think this is it. Yeah, I sent it to you, and you probably sent it. Did you tell me on Facebook or through the long one? I think it was a Facebook. Yeah, a Facebook one. Yeah, yeah this one, one right okay, here. Yeah, yeah. I think this is where it said that the eighties, the the, 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 the the crack was in the eighties. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go ahead. It. Our communities now, it's digital. It's digital crack, right? Mm -hmm. So you don't. You can't name a Jewish drill rapper saying, yo, I'm a kite, I'm a kite, spin the block, spin the kite, kill a kite. You can't find a, a, a Chinese motherfucker talking about, yo, konnichiwa, kill it, yeah, yeah, yellow man, kill, kill, yeah, kill, yeah, kill, kill. Fuck out of here. We the only culture that creates self-hate, destructive music, and we promote it and market it. It's about self-hate. It's systematic racism. You understand? So drill, drill means kill. So how you think creates how you feel. How you feel becomes an emotion. That emotion becomes a vibration. That vibration becomes a magnet that attracts things to you. Life or death is of the tongue. Yeah. So we only talk about death. If you're if you're an op, you're not an op. You're a decimal creator. You're not a nigga. You're the inventor of math. Mm. You're not a fuck boy. You created the internet. <laughs> See? So when you when you when you when you when you say things. 
because words have vibrations and those vibrations are magnetic. So drill is just something used by our colonizers to keep us limited. Crack as a way to break down the hood in the 80s. They're using music as a way to break down our communities now. It's digital. It's digital crack, see, right? Okay, so you don't. It, it, see, that's heavy. That is heavy, heavy mm -hmm. what they're doing. Y'all don't understand. They got a new uh, Netflix, and I, I didn't look for it, but um, the Netflix that they're going to come out, and they're going to, they're talking about the woman mm. in the music industry or black, and not, not just the woman, the black woman. Let me mm -hmm. hear that. Mm -hmm. The black women and what they're doing for the industry. And how they're getting their money and everything that, everything guess what? The the music that they're pushing into our little girls, mm -hmm. the the wardrobe, the way they dress, their hair, everything opposite of what the creator has uh, talked about and given the words of life here. Everything is in the opposite, and they say, "Yo, the uh, uh, women have come a long way. We come. On. No, you have not, bro." Esau sees the evil, and guess what he does? He increases. What, what did you say about the Maccabees? They what? Uh, evils are multiplied Mo in the earth. They're multiplied. <laughs> Why? Because he saw an opportunity to destroy the black woman and the black homes, and it starts with that. Um, there was a. Uh, th did you tell the video too? Maybe I, I got to get it. But he was. Uh, um, I have to get it in a million yards. I talk, but the man was talking about that in Houston that uh when when he was in Houston he saw the the industry was big onto the Hispanic community he was a black man and he said if you cater to the Hispanic they will support you i think that was bumby yeah yes yes Bumby, the, yeah. the the trill the trill burger thing he, right he will support you and the reason why he would support because Hispanics see themselves that it's possible they could be up there doing it too. Why? Because we're in the same oppression. We're in the same in the hoods and the ghettos. When, when, when I'm in the ghetto in the hood and I'm living next to my, my brother Tyrone and he's doing something and I say, hey, hey well, why, why you tap me? Why, I, I can do that too. Why you tap me when hey, you said Tyrone? I, I didn't, I didn't mean to attack you, bro. I just said we. Hey, that was the how you doing, Tyrone? Me. I'm all right. <laughs> but you, you still my, <laughs> we in this together. You still my neighbor. But, but you understand? I'll see you later. No. When, <laughs> When you when you when you come out the when you came out the you, when you come out the ghetto the the the, the ghetto or the gutter like I do like, mm -hmm. like you know I see that and I see myself hey I we we struggle in the same way right, right, right. we in the same curses not knowing that the curses but knowing that guess what we we, we have the same uh, opposite against us and guess what he coming out I can do it too man I gotta do my own thing man you know what I mean so that's the mindset. They understand, you know what I mean? And we, 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 we how would you say, we that same industry of that billion dollar industry, the same thing, the black Hispanics and Native Americans. Hey, officer, it's funny you mentioned that. It's this Mexican rapper out now. I think it's called like the Mexican OT or yeah, something. Mexican like that. Yeah, Mexican OT. Yeah, yes, sir. Yeah. He be doing that <laughs> same <laughs> crap. Yeah. He, he, he was, instead of saying ghetto in his songs, he said like in the barrio. Yeah. Instead of saying in the ghetto. Same thing. Right. And the same enemy thing. knows they got Judah in, in the yoke. That the other tribes are gonna follow suit in the nice. same in the same steps. Right, right. Just hey. like Genesis forty nine, man. Right. right. Give me the uh, next video for me, real quick. Uh, YouTube, yes, sir. Play that for me, real quick. Real quick, short video. It says, "How does music affect thought processes or behaviors?" Mm. Right. And this is from the Children's Hospital, of Boston, right? Mm -hmm. So, Dang. Boston's Children's Hospital. So it Rapid. start it starts from young. It yep. starts from young where music can affect the kids who own it um, in their lives, right? So go ahead and play that for me, please, sir. Music, particularly among adolescents, um, is a very powerful motivator of behavior. Um, it wasn't so long ago that an entire war was turned on the basis of youth music um, with Vietnam, um, and music was really central to the counterculture and the culture that rose up and said we're not going to take this anymore. I don't think we should underestimate the power of music because music touches the limbic system or the emotional system of our brain which actually though slower than other parts can overwhelm all of the other parts. Um, uh, 
Think about how we lose our mind when we fall in love. Um, a puzzle we right there. So he said, right there in the beginning, he said, music is a good motivator, right? So mm -hmm. whatever you want someone to do something, you have to what, play music. It can possibly motivate them to do whatever you want them to do, possibly, right? Or like this, right? Because he said that uh, music is also like well, like a, a motivator to where it, it ends up taking over your uh, mm -hmm. one part of the brain takes up the, over the whole brain. Like when, when men are lusting or whatever, it's like you got a woman, right? And you lusting after or whatever, and she do some stupid or whatever she do that you don't like. You know, you just totally completely ignore her or whatever. But guess what? It's that part of that lust, right? So it's the same thing with the music, right? A lot of the times that this music can take over your whole brain and affect your uh, what your actions, right? Cause that's that uh those split um those uh, split um five minute decisions or two yeah, minute decisions yeah. you know that affect the life yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. No, 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 I was gonna say uh what he said in the beginning. He said like affected like a whole war. Mm -hmm. Right. That's that's right. You know what I'm saying? That's power. That's, that's power. Like 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 the officer was saying, you just off of some music, right? Yeah. It affects a whole outcome of a war because it changed everybody's behaviors that mm -hmm. that that's how you know that this this communication in these songs and things like that yeah. is powerful it's a powerful not, thing not not forget about the the, the mid 90s about right. you know Tupac that west coast east coast kind of you know, beef that they had you know you you can't you know that's that that that's a heavy thing right there. Can but we, that's like Tupac where he said, uh, "Nobody can judge me, whatever it is." Right, we right. Got, we got a lot of people saying right, the same thing, yeah. right. thinking it's a Christian that's verse. A that's a very that's a <laughs> they, yeah they, they tattoo they tattoo it like it's a Christian verse. You're right. Yeah, <laughs> that ain't Bible. Hey man, can stop, man. I'm over here getting cut, bro. Chill. Say that again, officer. I said I'm over here getting cut. Chill. <laughs> <laughs> Some white out, damn, bro. Oh, no, Dang. oh shoot. Hey, let's read Please that verse. Some white God out. can judge me. Uh, the uh, the uh, first Corinthians fifteen thirty three. We've been throwing it around, yeah, but we yeah, gotta yeah. get it, man. It's 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 yeah. it's needed for this this topic, man. For real, man. Because uh, what he's bringing out, as far as the communication piece, man, and what what we receive to our ears, it it it, it uh. Puts a, a stronghold on our thoughts. Right. There's a level of influence. Right, right. Go ahead. Book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 15 and verse 33. Read out. Be not deceived. Evil communications corrupt good manners. So it said evil communications corrupt good manners. And we was we were talking about what was good earlier. What's good is the commandments of God. We must keep the commandments of God. But if we listen into drill music uh what did, what did officer call it earlier not rap music crap music right mm -hmm. that type of stuff that's going to corrupt our good manners our good manners is not to kill your brother right it's to marry your wife but then in the other in the songs what does it tell you and hey, shoot a nigga shoot a nigga up uh get as many females as you can i'm using nice words i'm using nice words because yeah. it's, it's worse yeah yeah it's it's way worse than the clean version. Yeah, I'm. I'm, I'm <laughs> hey, no parental advisory. In he's, this he's, in the, he's, the, he's in the Walmart Walmart version. Right, right, right. <laughs> back in the day, Radio you, version. You, yeah, I, and those who are old enough, you remember the back in the day when you wanted that 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 music. If you got it from Walmart, all the the bad words were taken right, out. Right, right, right. You know. Hey, but see, here's the thing. A lot of them are not even doing what they rap about. Facts. Like yeah. uh, Future, for example, he did an interview where he talked about how he doesn't drink uh, lean. He doesn't do drugs, right? Mm. He over here talking about, I like cheesecake. No, and there ain't no shout out officers around. Um, but he on the interview, he was talking about how he liked cheesecake. Hey, that's a perfect example of what? Don't get high on your own supply. Because... When you're a drug dealer, you can't get high off this stuff because you know what it affects and how it does to the people you see your clientele Bruh. feeding for this stuff. He had so a you, whole song. So called, you gotta be you gotta right. be wise, right? He had a whole song called Molly Percocet. Bro, and don't <laughs> don't do no hey, uh that, that reminds me of what was that? Uh Cardi B. Remember she said she don't cook, she don't clean? Yeah. I'm and then she's that. in the video cook uh cleaning and then the, her husband's like, yo, uh you, I don't know why you're telling the people in that in them songs. You be cooking and cleaning. That's necessary. Mm. Hey, <laughs> hey, and she said she don't want her own daughter to listen right. to her music. Right. Oh, dang. <laughs> that, that's crazy. G give me your first Corinthians 6 and 2 because uh, people have that science say, hey, you know what? God could only can judge, God can judge me, right? Mm -hmm. that, that tattoo, they have the, the, the mindset of, uh, I'm, yeah, you're going to get the judgment of God. Believe that. And then guess what? You ain't going to like it. But this is what the Bible says. The book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 6, and verse 2. Do ye not know... 
know that the saints shall judge the world? Now, the saints are you so-called men waking up to this truth, keeping these commandments. You are the saints coming back, waking up, and what? Keeping these commandments. And you can what? Make a judgment. Why? And this is, go ahead and show. And if the world shall be judged by you, are you unworthy to judge the smallest matters? So get this. People get this confused with the with the judgment. We're not condemning anybody. Mm -hmm. We're correcting the people, right? Because when you see your young men, right? Your your if you got a son or a daughter or whatever doing things outside of this Bible, what are you going to do? You're going to judge that matter. You're mm -hmm. going to correct that child to go the way that he should go, mm -hmm. right? When he's listening to certain kind of music, uh, you're not going to listen to those things, right? I remember when I was young, I didn't. My parents said you can't watch MTV. Mm -hmm. You know, they didn't even know about BET. You know, we didn't have cable like that. Oh, <laughs> Tip drill. <laughs> you feel me? Oh shoot! <laughs> yo, late night. Yo. <laughs> so well, we see who was going against yeah, we your know parents. Who was up late night watching BET? So we, an officer is we didn't watch. We didn't watch those things. Uh, you know what I mean? But we, we went over to certain houses or stuff that we watched. It. Oh yeah. Yeah, let this movie sing, you know, Bone Thugs and Harmony, all that, the old school, you know what I mean? But I, I, I mean, I listen, you know, the, the oldies, you know, so I mean, they're, they're different. But I understood what was out there. I heard those things about smoking weed. And then even now, when you bump stuff when I was younger, now I hear hear old school. I remember that song came out, and you hear it like, well, yo, this is talking about smoking right. weed, acting dumb, doing this and that. I'm like, yo, what? I didn't even know what that meant back then. Now I know. You know what I mean? Your vocabulary gets a little uh, up to the the urban dictionary. You know, <laughs> the, the, urban the, intellect. You know what I mean? What does that mean? Do it? You know, I remember uh, what is Friday got like four, 20 different names for for weed and stuff. Right. You know, they always got some some kind of name, new name for it. Mm -hmm. Those things are pushing it. Like 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 the brother was talking about. Instead of killing, I just use drill because they're gonna know what that means. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I'm over here. You know. I got a drill bit in my hand. <laughs> I, know, <right? laughs> I don't know what that means, but they're those those words. We like to use those words because we know to break it down and it and it goes into our head even deeper. And they'll change it up. You saw change it up too to use different words like slang terminology, so that way you know your parents don't understand. Yeah. So that way they can they can get it right to your kids, and your parents just think, oh no, that's that's nothing. Yeah, this just means... the beat's good and all that stuff. And then why is a little little Tyrone acting up? We just keep using Tyrone. Why is a little Tyrone keep <laughs> ask, uh, right. keep acting like this? Right. <laughs> Shout out to Tyrone. Right, Tyrone. Hell no. <laughs> we all we all had a Tyrone in this man. <laughs> So, <laughs> can I get a script? Yeah, go ahead. Man. I can I you. get Genesis twenty-seven? He's uh, going way back. He's going way. Kind of showing you what you were saying about Esau. They're the ones that are influencing a lot of the music. Yeah. And there was a certain blessing that was given to Esau right. from the beginning. I mean, did you hear? He said, "Can I get a script? <laughs> can he get can one? Can I get a script, please? Can, can, can I get, get in let there? Let me get one please? in there. <laughs> uh, with the the sword. That's yes. The Stop said, it. <laughs> yes, <laughs> sir. <laughs> Uh, one of the words that they were using in one of the clips was weaponizing. Mm -hmm. And then that weaponizing, a lot of times we think of weapons as like a gun or a sword. But there's different psychological levels of weapon weaponry that Esau has. Then it goes back to the scripture back in Proverbs. There's death and life in the power of the tongue. Right. So that's that weapon that they're using. Mm -hmm. Esau knows how to wield those that um that blessing that was given to him. It's Genesis chapter 27 and verse 40. I knew it was 40. I was looking at So the book of Genesis chapter 27 and verse 40. You can start at 39. Verse 39. And Isaac, his father, answered and said unto him, Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth. So we know that Esau, he was going to live in the most chiefest places on the earth where he put his landmark at. Read on. And of the dew of heaven from above. Read on. And by thy sword. Shall thou live? So the Bible's letting us know that Esau, he was going to have... The so-called white man. Mm -hmm. The so-called white man, he was going to have a level of savvy when it comes to making war and conquering other people. And so we see here in America, one of the facets and methods that he's using is music mm -hmm. and the level of influence that it has on our subconscious and our people. Because, I mean, like what we were saying is a lot of times we, we'll just be jamming to the beat, right. not knowing... 
the words mm -hmm. and the other spirits that are laced within the lyrics. Because there's a lot of things that are unaccepted in society for us to communicate and talk to each other. But you put a beat over it and you can say anything. Mm -hmm. uh, our sisters, if you would tell call them the B word to their face without without a smooth beat to it, they would object to it. Right. But you put some 808s and you put a trap beat, some drill to it, mm -hmm. and it's okay. Right. Yeah, they might twerk to it. I, I like the word you use. You used uh, lace. Because that's what they do, right. man. And, and, and I see it where, where, you know what, you start somebody, hey, he, this person's going to be famous. And where do they put them? They put them in the Disney Channel. And they, they, they hey, everybody's, oh, yeah, she she likes this little girl. And, and, and you know what, we would let her watch her. And then she start getting older, 18. Then they start wearing certain things and they start doing some stuff. And then you kind of like, yo, she kind of still likes her and she kind of want to be like her and doing these things. And now she's starting got an album that's got a per, per uh, a parent, uh, what is it, parental advice yep. on the cover and stuff. Like, what's going on? Now, what's she talking about? Now it's another level. There, but they already got you hooked as a young child it's to Kiki that Palmer. to that artist. Hey, it's funny you bring up Disney Kiki Channel Palmer. too because yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, like ninety percent of those late nineties, early two thousands Disney stars, they are out of their mind nowadays. Mm -hmm. Like yeah, Miley Cyrus, she went through her phase. Raven right Simone, yeah. married to a woman. Oh, snap. Her little yeah. brother on the show got tattoos all over his face, and True. he think he a rapper. Right. Orlando Brown oh, on drugs. Shit. Orlando. So, Orlando. Yeah, he bugging. You know, it's like you say, we saw those examples. Like, hey, I kind of want to be like that dude or that or that sister. Yeah. And now look at him. Mm -hmm. Damn. Yeah, we can't have no good role models, you know. Or Akila and the B. Yeah, who wow she was a spelling bee champ. Now she uh, hey, all of uh, Usher talking. Maybe, maybe I'm old, man. You talking about them people? I'm, I'm over here, like you know, still a little tear off of my brother uh, Bill Cosby. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm, I'm old yeah. school. <laughs> Free the homie. Free the homie. Free the homie Bill, man. Come on, man. <laughs> Killed a whole legacy with that whole thing. Yep. I know they, they, you know, they trying to, to to rub our name in the in the dirt. You know what I mean? So. Um, and I, and that's, that's what it is. It's just they get you uh, caught up in this world, the lifestyle and stuff. You got to understand that when you are around your parents as a young child, you learn how to be an adult, right? And when you, at a young child, what happens when you get pulled out the, the system? You get pulled out the, the your parents, you pulled out the school, uh, and you start doing things in, in Hollywood, start doing stuff in rap gangs. Oh, well, she's famous. She can't go to school no more. We're a homeschooler. We're an online. She's still to finish, get her, her education. But she's got to go to this this uh, uh, meeting. she got to go to this mm -hmm. interview. Got to go to this and that and that. And, that. and then guess what? Then she's around or he's around these older influences because... If you heard of these parties, they throw these house parties and stuff, and everybody's there, and it's kind of like famous. And what happens here stays here is hush hush. They got bowls of drugs, anything you want there, anything you want to drink. You think they're gonna tell her, look, oh no, you, you can't, you can't drink that. No, hey, you famous, you got money, you, psh, you do what you want to do. I'm gonna tell you what you do, right? And you're already in that lifestyle. Hey, in the new house party, the house party movie that they had did like in the 80s and 90s, and the new one, they actually show. Getting into like these Hollywood parties, they told him he couldn't get in unless he gave them like a sample of his blood. Oh, damn. Like that, that's wild. Oh, yeah. You talking about this stuff with uh, what's the rapper, little dude? What's his name? YK Osiris? No, it no, one? no. Kids, a kid, Cuddy? Kid Cuddy. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Yeah. Oh, the new, the new, uh, is it on Netflix? I believe so. I don't know. I saw a little bit of it. Yeah, it was just a part where like they were trying to get into a, a Hollywood party, but they had to give like samples of their blood before that's going crazy. in. Yeah. Got to get initiated. And all these uh, movies about uh, the the uh, singers and stuff like that, they get involved in and whatever whatever your poison is, and you start making it rich and making business. Like for example, uh, Ray, you, you saw him. Ray, he loved the women, loved the drugs, you know, going that 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 route. All the rappers and everything, you're going to get your dose right to keep you. Uh, doing these things and then by the end of the career guess what you broke killed this you know what I mean already in the, you, 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 you bugged out right, right. Uh, I remember this uh, it was an interview with um, not not big pun what's the other one uh, Fat Joe Fat Joe Fat Joe, Fat, Fat. Fat Joe said he said yo we <laughs> yo I was with Bone Hug and Thomas 
we had we had a concert and then we end up going to <laughs> Bone Thugs and Harmony. Yeah, Bone Thugs and Harmony. <laughs> you said Bone Hugs and Harmony. <laughs> bone Thugs, my bad. My guess, you got it. Talk, talk a little fat. Bone Thugs and Harmony. I'm right. sorry. Talk a little fat. And then stop it. <laughs> <laughs> so Bone Thugs and Harmony, and they said, "Hey, we rented a whole floor in the uh, hotel. After the concert, we were picking girls out." I think I remember this. Yeah. When we went in there, he said to the girls, "He said, if you're not effing, you're not sucking, you're not doing drugs, you're not doing that, and get the hell out." So they were throwing party, and they were in the rooms doing what? We, yo. That's the the regular lifestyle, and you gotta understand that when they're doing tours, they're doing that every single night. Oh yeah, they do it every single night. Why? Because that's the lifestyle that they do. That's the, that's what's out there. It takes a, a a very strong person and discipline to know what you're supposed to be doing and your purpose, and that's that's is very important of what they're doing because. Um, I only seen that one time when you know, and and I'm not, I'm not saying that you should be going to sports or doing this and doing that. That's not for our people. That's not for us. But Michael Jordan, when he went into a room hotel room one time and he saw the drugs and the thing, he said, "I can't be wrapped up in this." He, he and he was a rookie. He said, "I can't be this," and he walked out. Right? That takes a certain discipline to understand that. Guess what? I can't. I'm here to play basketball. I'm here to do this. I'm here to do that. We don't. Ha- a lot of us don't have that discipline. Right. Mm-hmm. We don't know what's out there. Mm-hmm. When you going out there and, and doing these things this is very important, right? Uh, give me that next video with that brother um, talking about I don't, Lupe he, Fiasco. No, he, he, I told you he's a rapper. I don't know. I don't know some of these guys, but I, I heard this and he was kind of like, "Bring it out." Not this one, uh, uh, Michael. Y, was it the White K. Osiris? Yeah, White K. Osiris. I don't even know who these guys are, man. I'm still listening to Marvin Gaye. You know, I got the old school with me. I'm, I'm when I get that, I'm still buying CDs, bro. Like you know. <laughs> He said, I'm still buying CDs, man. Duh. You feel me? I ain't going to download these stuff. So so all this stuff is new to me. But I understand the evilness. Go ahead. This music industry is a God blessing. You need to stop it. God don't like that we in this music business. God don't like that we talking about money, cars, and clothes and hoes. So if you want to be in, the, be in this music industry and you want to get money, understand what it comes with. That it's not from God, it's from the, it's from the devil. Understand? I just want you to understand that, you know, because I don't want y'all to get lost in the sauce and and and, and, and complain what y'all going through and why y'all going through it. <laughs> Period. It's not from God. Stop saying it's a God blessing. It's not from God. It's from the devil. He gives you what you want so you can destroy yourself. Now, what you saw right there was a video of 21-year-old singer slash rapper YK Osiris discussing some of the dark realities of the music industry. You might remember my The Rap Game is a Dark Place video I made last month, a video that of course was very well received by most, but it definitely upset a lot of people. Essentially, I was uh, in a way discouraging people from becoming rappers. It was almost like a bait or somewhat of a test because the people who got discouraged from pursuing their rap dream due to watching my video never wanted to become rappers in the first place. Those people simply don't have a strong enough reason to continue because my opinion and perspective of the rap game made them question their so-called dream. I think you understand what I mean when I say that. Every opportunity That's I good. get to highlight the reality of what really goes... That's good. These, um, a lot of rappers, they warn you and they tell you because they start mm-hmm. going in there, right? And we're not even getting into the deep where you start like, they start uh, taking Bringing you to parties, rooms. rituals, yeah. 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 They start doing the... Raping the, you. Yeah, raping you. Out. Hey, this dude was just under fire about three weeks ago. Um, I don't know if y'all remember that video leadership had shared about the sister who said she was trying to get stretched out. Yeah, he kissed yeah. her. He was trying to kiss her. Yeah. Right. So he he he's uh he ain't out of the fire yet with, <laughs> yeah. by saying this because he's still doing nonsense. That's funny because I haven't heard from him or anything. They were trying to push him like he was going to be the next Kodak Black out of Florida. But... You know, when you start to when you start to really speak out against the industry, they're not going to promote you or push you out there in the front. They're going to be giving those contracts and giving the money to those that are willing to do whatever it takes to get that money. Hey, let me can I let me get a scripture real quick. Let me get Proverbs thirty real quick. Hey man, did she say she's trying to get it scratched or stretched? Stretch. Scratch. She said she was trying to get both. Stretch. Scratch. You know what I want. 
about uh, uh, feed me with yeah. food, food convenient for me. That that's what I want. The book of Proverbs, chapter thirty and verse eight. This brother right here, he could, that reason why he he uh, he's still on, on that BS talking about he want to kiss the the hoe, hoe in the mouth or whatever is he conflicted. That's why because right. in his spirit he knows something ain't right, but then he like yo. Uh, the money, the stuff that I, the, the stuff that I touched already. You know, I got these cars. You know, you see, you have the chain on. I want this stuff, but I know what it comes with, right? And it's also how she markets herself. Right, 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 right. We'll read this. The book of Proverbs, chapter thirty and verse eight. Read Remove far from me vanity and lies. Uh huh. Give me neither poverty nor riches. That's the point. That's the point right there. We need to be. We need to be content with what we have. Mm -hmm. That brother's conflicted because he already tasted all the riches. He said, give me poverty nor riches because you want to know what, what would riches do? Read. Feed me with food convenient for me. The food convenient is we need the scriptures. We need to be content with the scriptures and what, what we have out of the scriptures. Read. Lest I be full and deny thee. What did, what did the Bible say? Lest I be full and deny thee. When you're full, that means you're rich. And guess what you're going to do? You're going to deny the Lord. Mm -hmm. That's what's happening. The brother didn't got full. He didn't got the chains. He didn't got the record deal. And guess what? He knows something ain't right. But guess what happened? He got too full. So guess what? He denying the Lord. Read. Mm -hmm. And say, who is the Lord? Uh -huh. Or lest I be poor. Uh, now, on the flip side, what? You don't want to be poor. You would, The Bible says we're supposed to work, right? We're supposed to uh, be, get uh, fed with food convenient for us. Read. And steal mm -hmm. and take the name of my God in vain. So you, you got two ends of the spectrum. You don't want to be too full that you deny the Lord and you don't want to be poor. So you steal. Right. So this is this brother on the one end of the spectrum. And now he's fighting. He's conflicted. Oh, man, I didn't have all this. These riches. I didn't have all this stuff. I don't want to go back. Mm -hmm. But I know something ain't right. And that's what they do to our people. They either give us that poverty. Right. So we'll still uh, we'll we'll break the commandments. We'll hate our brothers or they make us too rich and we don't know what to do. We don't have the wisdom. So guess what happens? We deny the Lord anyway. Mm -hmm. And hey, some of these brothers don't want to go back to that middle line. Right. They message don't want to go the... back to that neighborhood that they were cursing out and saying, mm -hmm. hey, I made it now. Now they don't want to humble themselves. Exactly. Exactly. That's exactly what it is, man. Say like godliness with contentment. There is you great go. Gain. There you go. Because when you get the wealth, you have to have the wisdom behind it. That we don't have no wisdom with that wealth. So guess what we do? We know something ain't right, and we don't want to go get that food that's convenient for us. So guess what we do? We deny the Lord, or we we get we go fall into poverty, and then we fall into that same trap. Right. Mm -hmm. A message to the black man and black woman, Hispanic, Native. That's why we ain't gonna win the lottery. <laughs> hey facts facts man yeah facts yeah. a lot of times man like you like we always say you hit the lottery brother be out of here you deny the lord mm -hmm. <laughs> no nah, i'm gonna give you know 90 percent of it to the to congregation and yeah. you know right 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 yeah, yada yada you out <laughs> hey bro hey i'll be thinking about that too a lot right so think about it think about what you're doing right now right think about all, everything that you're doing right now the most high give you maybe some time to uh just maybe a day off with your job, right? right or even right. like um, just give you like maybe a five hundred dollars, right? Just randomly just pop up, right? You find right. five hundred dollars, right? Whatever you do with that money or with that time, right? It's it's the Most High is testing you to see what you're gonna do with that, and Facts. then why would you do it later on when you get more money or more time? You're not gonna use it right now, like uh, it benefits you right now. So why 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 is it gonna give you a lottery, like a big amount, right? Right. It the doesn't make sense. The money is just gonna amplify what you would have already done. Exactly. Right. Exactly. Right. Where your treasure is is where your heart is. Facts. When when um when you first Corinthians uh, three and fourteen um this is why y'all gotta understand when we go out pass out flyers we're out teaching and stuff. The right spirits are going to receive the word, going to understand these things. That's why we, we're we in a competition with the evilness that's happening in these last days. The words that's being spit out by the devil, we're spitting out life and truth to, mm -hmm. to you know, we, we teach these words. Go ahead. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter th 3 and verse 14. Freedom! If any man's work abide. No, no, 1 Corinthians, sorry, sorry, 2, 2 and 13, 2 and 2 and 14, sorry. The book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 2 and verse 14. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of God. For they are foolishness unto him. Neither can he know them, 
because they are spiritually discerned. So this discernment that they have, they're not going to accept these these words. They're going to accept the guess what they Israel. They might be like, oh yeah yeah I'm Israel yeah hey we we the people of the Bible. But are they going to give up everything? It's like the man the the man in, in Matthew is it Matthew sixteen seventeen? He he had to he, hey I tithe I fa fat right, I right. do all these things. And then he says, "Hey, give your riches away. Right. Give them to the poor." Sorrowfully, he left. He left. He left sad. Why? Because you know he couldn't do it. Right. Mindset said, wasn't right. He said, "My, my, my the, This is my riches. This is, this is what. I, mm -hmm. This is it." A lot of these people, guess what? When they do these and they de denounce, then they they say, "You know what?" They start. Uh, what do they call it? Uh, blowing the cap or uh, whistleblower. Whistleblowers. Yeah, oh, yeah whistleblower yeah, yeah. in the game and everything. And they start doing that. What happened? Oh, we got to put something on him. We gotta put something on him. Let's dig something up on him. Sexual assault let's, charge doesn't. Yeah, yeah, let's do it, and then let's let's have everybody that's supporting him back up, and somehow his bank account froze. Yep. That's it. He's done. Just the allegation itself. It, it kills him. Yeah, you don't even have to go to trial. You ain't gotta be nothing. We, 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 let's talk to TMC, gotcha. and then we done. That's like what they did to Wendy Williams about the the mosquito bite. You know, they made it oh, look crazy. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. denied our access That's to our money. crazy. Yep. Can you give me a Sirach chapter 9, verse 15? Last verse. Yeah, sure. Close it out with this. Mm -hmm. The book of Sirach, chapter 9 and verse 15. Freedom. Let thy talk be with the wise, and all thy communication in the law of the Most High. So let's make sure from now on, like, we got to make sure our communication is in the law of the Most High, right? Let's surround ourselves with the people that, that that's uh, speaking, uh, that has wisdom, right? That has knowledge, right? We need to surround ourselves with that, right? And uh, make sure that we're listening to good communication, right? There's righteous music because we got a lot of righteous music, even on original royalty, right? Yeah. Check there that out, original out. royalty, right? Because we have a lot of righteous music, good music, music that's better even in the world, right? Right. So we got to make sure we're doing that. Let our communication be in the law of the most high. Yeah, when you're in the spirit and you start listening to music and stuff, it opens your eyes. Like, hey, this song, even, even me, when I listen to all the oldie stuff, that song is a simple song. I'll be like, <laughs> yeah, a lot of them, bro. A lot of, <laughs> a lot of them. Lot of no facts. You know, so not, not, so not all the music is good music. So you know right. what I mean? Right. right. It's, it's some of the old music, it's like, uh, it's, I feel like it's like the foundation of what we have now. Some yeah. of the, some of the old Oh, it music. is. They, they just, they set it in a better way. That's all. They <laughs> walk so the artist today can run. Yep. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. So I'll praise to the most high. Uh, thank you, Israel, for tuning in to the Power Hour. Make sure y'all tune in to the Power Hour. On, uh, we'll probably have a Power rerun. Quest, right? No, we're going to have a rerun on Wednesday. Oh, yeah, because yeah. man's coming. Yeah, we won't be on this Wednesday. Exclusively on IUIC Phoenix. Right, make sure y'all subscribe onto our YouTube pages and all our socials, all right? So Shalom, Israel. Most high in Christ's blood. Shalom. 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 What club was that at? <laughs> that was admit that uh, a lot of people don't even realize they I've called her, she hasn't responded. I've called her more than a few times. But the Zulu nation, I'm like, what the hell is this? I know nobody know what I'm talking about. You'll leave me on the island by myself. I don't know what the hell Bishop's talking about. That's what y'all do. Didn't have to class yeah, I knew what you were talking about. I just don't want to be caught out there. The hell is this? Get on my damn nerves. So read that again, 30. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. 